Hi and welcome to the 2019 paper 2 question 5 it's for the Leave Cert Ordinary level. Uh, as usual, if you want this set of notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. The email address will be in the description below. Um, this question 5 here is, looks like area of volume. Okay, so the part A says the crescent shown in the shaded part of the diagram was created by removing a disc of radius 2.5 centimeters from a disc of three centimeters. So if I was to try to represent that, talking about a radius there, okay, of 2.5, comparing that to a radius of the bigger one, okay, of, was it three? It says find the area and perimeter, okay, so there's a lot of work here, of the crescent, okay, give your answer correct at two decimal places. So if we get the area of the big shape, so it's a circle, so it's area equal to pi r squared. I've taken this from the maths tables. So it's the area formula you're working at, look at we're looking at first. And I'm going to, well, area equals pi r squared, so 3 times 3 squared times pi. Take away 2.5 squared times pi, and you get the difference. Okay, and that's the shaded part. So I've represented that here in words, so the area of the crescent. Area big circle, take away area smaller circle. We've used different R's to represent the different radii. Written out the radius R, put them into the formula, and then put to the calculator. And now it, was, it asked me to go decimal. So I turned it to decimal, and I rounded it to two decimal places, and 8.64. Now the perimeter is the same as the length, okay, or circumference, depending on what you want to call it, and that's 2 pi R. So the large disc is 2 pi times 3, 6 pi. Small disc 2.5 times um, uh, 2, which is uh, 5 pi. Okay. 6 pi uh, plus 5 pi. Okay. You're getting the full perimeter. Okay. So you walk the whole way around here and then back around here. Uh, 6 pi plus 5 pi is 11 pi. Turn that to the decimal. And I got 24.56. So I think I've written the answer down there already. Um, uh, rounded, okay, now the units are centimetres for length and centimetres squared for area. Which huge 10 marks there, okay, so part A is done. If I remember that wasn't answered very well, um, a lot of people got like one part of it right, okay, and they were getting up as far as at least five marks. Now the part B here has 15 marks, okay, so does, um, this is tricky as well. I have the formulas for this screen grabbed here. And this is the, the, the shape, and this is an inverted cone. Well, an empty inverted cone of vertical height 12 centimeters, so that's the height there. Okay, and radius seven centimeters is filled with water from a pipe. Now with some do, if you want to use this area formula, which you're not used, you can find the slant height there, okay, the L, using Pythagoras. That's not gonna help us here, I don't think. The water flows from the pipe at a steady rate of 0.5 litres per minute. Okay, that's important. Find the time it takes to fill the cone. Okay, so we're looking for time and give your answer to the nearest second. So they want the answer in seconds. Okay, so we want to see how fast this pipe fills. So probably volume. It looks like this formula here. Okay, so the answer is the formula for volume of a cone written out. I'm given the radius. Okay, I'm given the height. So I have two of the three things needed for the right hand side. Pi I know as well, so I actually have all the things I need for this side. So I put all the numbers into the formula, put it to the calculator like 196 pi centimeters cubed. That's the volume of the cone. Okay, so it's, it's filled. Now, how fast will that happen? Okay, if it's filling by 0.5 liters in a minute, how many liters is this? If you notice, actually, it's not in liters, it's in centimeters cubed. So it should be the same type of unit. So a half a liter is the same thing as 500 centimeters cubed. 196 times pi would be like a little over three times that, so 600 ish, a little, little over 600. So I'm not going to bother changing that to a decimal as such. I'm just going to divide it in. The calculator can handle it. Uh, 196 times pi divided by 500 is the equivalent to little over 1.2 minutes. Now they want the answer in seconds, so I need to convert that. Okay, there's 60 seconds in a minute. So it's that number times 60. Okay, it gives me 73.89 seconds. 
to the nearest second. So I'm going to round this up so it's 74 seconds. So it's tricky because you know, we're talking about shapes and they're inverted and stuff. But if you're good with your area volume, it should be a pretty good, um, especially considering the high marks of it. So that's question five. Okay, so thank you and see you on question six.